Seychelles. I can answer. I am a little girl born in Africa and brought up in Portugal. I moved to Scotland in 2007. Portuguese is my mother tongue, but I fell in love with the English language and also by the culture and the natural landscape of Scotland that offered me a seed to write this story. And this love persists to these days. What do I do? Well, I receive training and develop experience as a carer in the UK, providing care to different groups of people. As a carer, I learn many things. The professional experience taught me so much about the human condition. At the same time, it gave me a source of inspiration and raw material to write about life with imagination. Because I do believe that real life, real people are always a source of inspiration to write any kind of writing. I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the human richness and valuable professional experience providing care to people with learning disabilities in London. This experience opened my mind, opened my heart and my eyes to the value of treating everyone. I would like to say a word of thank you to Arkbound Foundation because it's the way they work deserves to be recognized and acknowledged. Palabro is an imprint of Arkbound Foundation and it's a UK literature charity based in Glasgow and Bristol that supports authors with a story to tell to have a voice. We know the publishing world is very hard, it's very difficult, and Arkbound Foundation is making a difference to many people, people like me, that uh, in my case I'm an immigrant in the UK and I know how it's difficult to get published when we are not known. And Arkbound is helping many, many people having a voice and have the courage to stand up for their voice. I would also like to thank you as well, the table read, for inviting me on to this interview. And also, finally, I would like to thank you, you too, for watching it. Thank you. Stop. Stop. <laughs> good. Ah, the trees are good. Thank you. That's a good one. Scotland, Scotland the first place 
was the source of inspiration to my story. Serendipity takes you to Helga's hole in the forest, the Hermitage forest in Dunkel, and Glen Lyon in Perth. And all these three real places are the sceneries of my story that I photographed with my camera when I was living in Scotland. The illustrations of the book are also inspired by this tree real place. And the second inspiration for my story was love. Love was also a source of inspiration because it's a story of a grandmother, greater love for the granddaughter, a mother for the daughter, and the boundless bounty of the natural realm for each of us. It's love about nature as well. I was also inspired in the time I was living in Scotland by a book I found by, by Serendipity, a book I found many years ago about the travel people in Scotland. It's a book that speaks about the way of life of the Scottish travel community and I still remember the title, Red Bowens and Wild Honey, written by Betsy White. It's an account of her life as a child that she was born and brought up in a travel family. And in this book, I learned about the kind of language, the kind of country, that is the language of the travel people in Scotland. And it's fascinating. And in the book I wrote, this language appears integrated in the dialogues of the characters. It's a very a kind of a dialect, a very original dialect of the Scottish people. challenge of climate changing that we are living in the world so the the situation that we live with the air pollution in urban and denser populated cities was also an inspiration for me to start the story with this scenario because they are real and for this reason in the story the girl could not go out to school and to play outdoors with the other children so the grandmother julia starts telling a story to alleviate the sadness of her, of her granddaughter this scenario was also inspired by what happened during the pandemic lockdowns when children had to stay at home so many days and they could, could not go out to play for the other side, the heroine of this tale is the little travel girl. 
and to build the psychological profile of this character, build the psychological profile of this character, the little girl, the little travel girl, I was inspired as well by the universal characteristics of what is to be a child, that we always associate with curiosity, wonder, ingenious, um, that gift of believing and trusting that every child has. And I was inspired to bring that universal characteristics to the particular character of the story. in the story, disguised, but in reality is the guardian angel of the nature's secrets, and he comes from the Queen Titania that rules the land of the young, we are inspired by the enchanting realm of nature and by the many books I read when I was a child. So if this answers to the questions, what inspired me the story, it was many, many things. Many influence that I put all together in only one story. Fifth question. What do you love about writing? Well, writing allows us to recreate ourselves, to make us new, to find our voice, to break loneliness and to reach others. It's a life-saving tool. I do believe that doctors should prescribe poems and books to the patients. It will improve the health for sure. There is a phrase I like very much to quote about writing from Albert Einstein. Imagination is more important than knowledge, for knowledge is limited, whereas imagination embraces the entire world, stimulating progress, giving birth to evolution. I found myself this quote of Albert Einstein's encapsulates all the possibilities of writing. It allows us to create new realities. It allows us to break sometimes the limitations we have in our real lives. Sixth question. What is one piece of advice I would give to anybody else who wants to write a book? Well, it comes to my mind a poet we have in Portugal, Fernando Pessoa. He was a very respect and admired Portuguese poet of the 20th century. And he has a quote that I love sharing to encourage other people to find and affirm their voice. He said, there are no norms. All people are exceptions to a rule that doesn't exist. And it's true, because writing allow us to break the rules and now allow us to bring new things to the world. My piece of advice to you is do not underestimate your inspiration and will to write. We know it takes blood, sweat and tears. It's hard work to write. We can say that there is an inspiration 10% but then 90% is hard work. But we have to carry on. Don't give up if you want to write. Follow your bliss. Never, never give up. In spite of the voice that may judge you or undermine your confidence, keep moving forward and read. Read many books. Look for the affordable books. Be curious. When I went to the UK, I found great books in charity shops. I found very cheap books and magical books that I read and helped me to fall in love by English language and helped me to write the book I have here now to introduce to you. So read, read many books. We have to read to know, to learn how to write, to learn with other writers. It's essential to read. And also to encourage you, whoever you are, wherever you are, to start writing, 
I would like to share a line of a poem that I love it. Walter Wilkman is an American poet and he has a poem, Oh Me, All Life, that I love this sentence to give courage to write. And it says, answer that you are here, that life exists and identity, that the powerful play goes on and you may contribute a verse and what your verse will be. I leave this challenge for you. Thank you.